So, uh, the stage falls. We are about improv comedy. Yes? Yes! So, tonight we are going to play a new game. Everyone likes new games, right? All right. Uh, you may be wondering why I'm holding a hat in my hand. No. All right. Well, I'm going to tell you anyways. <laughs> it is fashionable. So, tonight will be a game of hats. I will be getting a suggestion from the audience for a scenario to for, uh, for our uh, uh, improv victims to go through. I said I will be asking, not asked. Wait your turn. All right. So once we have the scenario, then the two improvers will begin to act out this scene. And this will be thrown, they will be thrown the slight complication of having hats put on their heads at random times. Uh, those hats, they will then have to assume the personality of. Uh, for an example, uh, we have a straw hat here. So I might say something like, oh, shucks, tornado come up and took away my wife. No? All right. Great. <laughs> so, they'll be... <laughs> hopefully, they'll be better than that. So, uh, I need some uh, improvers for tonight. I can't do this all by myself. I think the first one I should call up would be the lovely and talented Courtney Nelson. Yeah. Far too long since she's been on our stage, right? Excellent. We're going to need two people for this game. So, I think... Let's throw him to the wolves again, shall we? Russ! All right. Stunt double! <laughs> ah, ah, Russ has chosen wisely the sacrifice a minion card. Okay. So. <laughs> and we have our first hat. So we have legs, we have Courtney Nelson now. I'll need an assistant to change hats. If I could get Birdie. Birdie, to the stage. Excellent. All right. So now we have our players, we have our hat changer. That hat is garbage, obviously it wasn't funny. Couldn't have been me that wasn't funny. It, it was the hat. It was the hat, it was all the hat. Yeah. So now, now hecklers, now we need a scenario. Barbecue. I still have to hear a good one. In in jail? In in jail. I think that leads a lot of potential for us. And go. So, what are you in here for? Long story. Well, we have plenty of time, so we might as well start talking. Well, it all started yesterday. I woke up and uh, decided to go for breakfast. It was a long trip for breakfast. No, put it on their heads. All the way down to uh, the protest at, at uh, City Hall. <laughs> you, have you been to the protest at City Hall? We don't protest anything. <laughs> Why not? We're don't not, you, don't we're, you have everything to protest? No, we, we're not ordered to protest, therefore we do not protest. But, but that's, that's what it's for. That's why we're at City Hall, to give us something to protest about. We don't protest. <laughs> Yar. Well, when I went down to City Hall to, for, to the protest to find me some grub, they didn't have any grub, but that was fine with me. I had my grog. What is this grog you speak of? Well, you might have noticed. I like rum. Rum is the best drink. Rum is better than water. Rum? That was for sissies. I drink whiskey. 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 <laughs> but, but rum and coke is uh, the best, uh, I, I think, the best drink I've had yet tonight. You haven't had straight whiskey yet, then. You got some? <laughs> well, I started with the rum and coke, and I decided uh, I, I needed a second opinion. I went for the vodka and Sprite. 
I don't know what you're talking about. I don't drink any of those. <laughs> the, they. they I, I've got another impure. spot over here for champagne. If you, if would you like my champagne glass? That champagne's probably only five dollars. Well, yeah, it's in a beer helmet. I haven't drinking that much, but I don't recall him casting that spell. Yeah. Well, well, you called for a unicorn, didn't you? But I see you have two of them. Well, I must have missed. We don't talk for, about what that. I, I, I must have stuttered. What I'm not high enough level yet. What do you What do you say we cook something up to get out of here? What do you suggest? Well, I don't know. If only I had my my cat, we could we could uh, cook up a double double, yeah. break us out of jail spell. I'm allergic to cats. Good thing you don't have it. I know. No cats, huh? No cats. Well, what about a poof? Alrighty. <laughs> Alrighty, Mr. Bigglesworth. <laughs> Let's work on something to get us out of here. Don't sacrifice me. <laughs> no I'm sacrifice. cute and cuddly. <laughs> no sacrifice, but I think that spell went wrong. And I, I, think, I think there's something else. There's, there's some kind of strange attraction going on. <laughs> I think, I think I know what you're talking about. My legs feel awfully, awfully cramped. I don't know why. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, another successful improv from the stage falls.